guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. Today we're here with another themed 2v2. Myself and Janet on occasion going to be taking Black Iron Battles and Professor Pwn in a themed 2v2. So you can see we've got the the dwarfs, the proud Dawi, double Dawi going to be facing off against two Skaven armies, Clan Pestilence and uh, Clan Moors, I suppose this is. Yep, Queek Head Taker. So let's go ahead and first take a look at the Dwarf Army compositions. My army is going to be led by Ungrim Iron Fist. He's got three units of Slayers in the back here, protecting against Vanguard in this corner. One of them is the Dragonback Slayers, and we've got a Thane there as well. We, uh, we've got a few Miners to help protect the flanks. And in the center, the Norgrimlings Iron Breakers and another unit of miners, I believe, yep, out on this flank are the Ekrand Miners, the uh, Regiment of Renown, who have Frenzy. Interesting trait. I haven't really talked too much about this particular Regiment of Renown. They are relatively cheap. They have decent combat stats um, for a, uh, a miner, and the Blasting Charges with their Frenzy actually makes them a pretty solid unit. Uh, I might have to play around with these guys a little bit more. But uh, then, <clears throat> of course, we have the Royal Dawi Air Force, five units of gyrocopters sitting here looking very very pretty now for Janet on occasions army his horse is going to be led by a rune lord he's got two units of iron drakes longbeards up front with the grumbling guard in the center he's also got a line of miners with blasting charges two units of bugman's rangers here ulthar's raiders and the warriors of dragonfire pass and I believe that's pretty much everything. Another reserve unit of Longbeards. And, of course, how could I forget the one, the only, Flame Cannon. So all the memes going to be in this particular battle. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Skaven Force. They've got a Warp Lightning Cannon, two units of Rat Ogres, two units of Death Globe Bombardiers, three units of Plague Monk Sensor Bears, Clan Rats, and Storm Vermin Sword and Board with more Gutter Runner Slingers in the back and more Clan Rats. Lord Skrulk, of course, going to be the lord for that army. For Clan Moors here, we've got Queek Head Taker, Plague Monks, and Clan Rats up front. He's also got a Warlock Engineer, more Death Globe Bombardiers, two units of Death Runners, two Sword and Board Storm Vermin. Make that three Sword and Board Storm Vermin and a Doom Wheel. So pretty solid anti-dwarf army. Let's go ahead and see how things... Uh, kick off. So right off the bat, we're going to be moving forward. Obviously, the Warp Lightning Cannon and these Death Globe Bombardiers are risks to my Gyrocopters, but I figure since I have so many Gyrocopters that uh, we're not going to be in too much of a risk here. So you can see these Plague Monk Sensor Bears going to be running forward. The War, uh, the War Lightning Cannons are making contact, but uh, the Steam Guns here are doing some pretty substantial damage against these uh, Plague Monk Sensor Bears as they trudge up and over the hill here. You can see the Flame Cannon is also opening up shots. It's going to be looking to target uh, the Plague Monks in the front line there. Uh, looks like the Bugman's Rangers also opening up, firing into Clan Rats and so on. So definitely uh, some beautiful stuff so far. We're just going to keep it in cinematic mode at this point as the Adawi Daka line just unleashes its fury into the uh, very expensive Skaven infantry. Plague Monk Sensor Bears, this is one of my biggest issues with them, honestly, is they're super squishy for 1,100 points. They can get a lot of damage done, but uh, at the end of the day, they're very, very squishy for what you pay. Doom Wheel scything in on this flank here. Meanwhile, the uh, a lot of the uh, Clan Moors forces also going to be pushing through here. We've got Storm Vermin and uh, Plague Monks and Clan Rats all pushing through, but the Blasting Charge is being unleashed just through the Fire and Flames, all the Skaven pushing forward, even some proper Fire and Flames from those Iron Drakes there. So just all kinds of uh, madness and fire going off in this particular area of the battlefield. You can see Nor Norgrimling's Iron Breakers tossing out their charges. And we've got the uh, Royal Adawi Air Force just siding in from the side here. Uh, routing off those Rat Ogres. I'm not quite routing them off. They are wavering at this point. But uh, yeah, the Dawi line is holding, man. Just the amount of sheer firepower between the Blasting Charges and the uh, Gyrocopters also coming over. Oh, it looks like we're potentially going to be getting a bombing run here. So I hope you guys like explosions because uh, this battle has plenty of explosions. Yeah, I'm just following the Gyrocopters because, yep, looks like they're dropping the bombs there. So... Brutal bombing run, just destroying all the storm vermin, death runners, and more over on this flank. You can see we are taking some damage. Miners with blasting charges being routed off. 
Death Glow Bombardiers are targeting the, uh, the gyrocopters there, but uh, so far so good. It's kind of hard to see what's going on with all the unit cards and everything everywhere. It's almost easier to see what's going on in the uh, cinematic mode. It looks like a plague being dropped in the back line there. His, uh, this uh, flame cannon doing a great job kind of cleaning things up in his pocket around the rune lord here. Getting some really nice area of effect damage done. The uh, Death Glow Bombardiers are working over these units in this pocket pretty well. I mean, obviously, no missile block chance on these miners means they will take that damage straight to the face. We've also brought up the Slayers. Uh, at this point, the balance power is turning pretty well in our favor. Doom Wheel is scything around the back line, but just not able to get the damage done. The uh, the blasting charges and the gyrocopters just proving too much at this point. You can see the Royal Adawi Air Force hasn't even dropped a single gyrocopter yet, despite the Warp Lightning Cannon, these gutter runners shooting at them and everything else. They're going to be shooting into this nice, dense Skaven blob of uh, Clan Pestilence and Clan Moore's troops and just getting an insane amount of damage done. You can see each shot, there's like this big, you know, burst of blood where the steam hits. And, uh, yeah. At this point, the Skaven are making their final push, trying to get into combat, but a lot of the Dawi infantry is pushing forward as well. Still more shots from the Flame Cannon flying in from the side. These uh, poor Sensor Bears and Storm Vermin and so on here are not too happy about their lot in life at this point. Probably not pretty shaky in terms of their leadership. And oh man, those flame cannon shots, when they make direct contact, it's brutal. So yeah, at this point, the Skaven leadership is getting pretty shaky. Uh, Queek Head Taker here, uh, getting some work done. He looks like he's going to be going after this Rune Lord here. Uh, he will be able to do some damage to that Rune Lord. The Rune Lord doesn't really have the defensive stats to stand up. But Ungrim Iron Fist and the Thane are in here as well. So if they get a hold of uh, if they get a hold of Queek, they'll they'll put him under real quick. I'm not sure 100% what happened to Scroll. Looks like he might have taken some damage at some point as well. But uh, you can see Dwarf forces pushing up over on this side, just keeping things in route. The uh, Royal Dawi Air Force has finally moved back to deal with the Warp Lightning Cannons. So we'll watch as they all uh, decide to open up shots here. And this uh, this cannon crew is going to disappear in a big big hurry. So. Point blank shots actually connects solidly with that uh, with that gyrocopter. But you can see damage has been spread across all the gyrocopters, but they all still have all three unit models, so they're firing at full strength. We shatter that warp lightning crew without too much issue. Then we're going to turn our attention to the uh, gutter runners here. Meanwhile, in this pitched front line engagement, you can see Lord Scroll using that rod of corruption a pretty good effect here. I mean, obviously the Dawi do have the magic resistance. I believe the Rune Lord actually brought the focus of power as well. So that, that definitely helps against all this magic damage, like the Warp Lightning Cannon, the uh, Death Globe Bombardiers, all of them do magic damage. So that Locus of Power map wide is going to make these guys even more resistant to magic. So you can see here it's a 15% bonus, bringing everything uh, map wide up to 40% magic resistance. So it does mean that the uh, magic armor piercing, which a lot of, it seems like a lot of the Skaven units that do armor piercing also do magic damage. Which means a lot of the time they tend to struggle against the dwarfs, uh, like the sensor bearers, the uh, death Globe bombardiers, the warp lightning cannons, and more. All do magic damage. So, uh, yeah, at this point the uh, Skaven forces are still holding out. We've got some storm vermin fighting here. Uh, continuous uh, rallying assault over on this side. This has been kind of the main bloodiest portion of the battlefield right here, up against this little rock. But uh, yeah, at this point we've got runes of wrath and rune going off all across the board here. Lord Skrulk is fighting, trying to uh, bring things back here, but the Flame Cannon's still online. We've got uh, plenty of Miners and uh, the Bugman's Rangers in the back line, and the Gyrocopters, of course, finishing off those Storm Vermin, and it is going to be victory for the Dawi. So, very fun battle. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know that one had plenty of uh, very cool cinematic shots and just tons of explosions and fire and brimstone and steam guns and... Just all kinds of gunpowder madness going on, which is, uh, you know, how the dwarfs like it when they're battling the Skaven. So, in terms of uh, myself here, <clears throat> my enders with the blasting charge is doing pretty well. Likewise, the Slayers did uh, some decent work as well. 98 kills on the Norgrunlings Ironbreakers. They definitely took a lot of damage, but uh, were able to dish it out in return. And obviously the Gyrocopters doing a lot of work. One of them pick even picking up an XP Chevron. The others, I'm sure, were all very close to picking up an XP Chevron. But, uh, yeah, these guys... All three unit models on all the units survived, so they weren't really challenged too much in the air. For Janet on occasion, uh, 222 kills for that flame cannon. Just goes to show, against big Skaven blobs, if you can keep this thing protected, it'll do an insane amount of damage. Um, the Bugman's Rangers also doing pretty decently for themselves. Iron Drakes weren't really challenged, but they didn't get too many kills. Uh, Grumbling Guard, 45, and the Miners with Blasting Charges up front doing very well. 80 for the Rune Lord himself. Man, he really got, uh, got in the pits there and slugged it out. 
for the Skaven. 88 kills on the Warlock Engineer. I believe this guy was dropping Warp Lightning Cannon continuously the whole time, or maybe, maybe he got like a really nice Scorch or something. Uh, maybe he actually is the one that cast that Plague, although no, that's from the Lord Plague, so Lord Skrulk would have been the one to cast that, but... Um, the rest of the army kind of underperformed a little bit. Uh, the infantry line just got blasted out really hard by the, uh, the overwhelming Daka from the Dawi there. 37 kills on XP Chevron for the Doom Wheel, though. It's pretty okay. Uh, an XP Chevron on the Warp Lightning Cannon did some decent work, but ultimately wasn't able to take down any of the Gyrocopter's models, which I think was a big issue. Likewise, these Plague Monk Sensor Bearers just didn't pay out at all, and uh, the, the Deck Globe Bombardiers, likewise, did not pay out very well also. Uh, I, I get what Professor Pwn was going for here. Kind of a fun thematic Plague army, but uh, the Sensor Bearers are just so squishy for what you get out of them, especially if your opponent op opts to bring the Locus of Power from the Rune Lord. It's a very, very good pick in that particular matchup, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching that fun thematic 2v2 i don't know the last one i posted did very very well so we'll see how the royal dawi air force does but uh, thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed if you do like this kind of content feel free to like subscribe hit that bell notification button so every time i upload a new video you'll be notified thank you once again for your support and we'll see you next time